Hi everyone, this is Eliza. Welcome back to Eliza's Bookshelf. Uh, today I want to go over the Blake Crouch books that I've read and kind of rank them in order of how I like them. So if you don't know me, I am a big Blake Crouch fan. And I've only read three of his books, but I loved all of them, some of them more than the others. Um, he has written a lot of other books, but I think not so much sci-fi thriller, more just mystery thriller. I'm not sure, I have to look into that a little bit more, but he was famous for his Wayward Pines series before. Um, I just read Dark Matter and moving forward from that. So Dark Matter, Recursion, Upgrade. Upgrade being his latest book, I did read all three of these and I want to rank them. I am going to go over a lot of spoilers because this video is a little bit for me as well. I don't want to keep forgetting all the books that I read and for Dark Matter, I think I forgot a lot of the details. So I want to talk about a lot of the details, a lot about the plot and talk about why I like them or why I didn't like it. A lot of spoilers, just warning you. So even though I enjoyed all of these books, there are clear favorites and clear okays. Um, in general, I really like the science fiction aspect. I like the love and heart aspect. I love how fast paced everything was. Unfortunately, his latest book, Upgrade, was my least favorite, although I still very much enjoyed it. I still loved it. Um, I think I did give it a four out of five and the other two books were five stars for me. Uh, Upgrade, we follow this guy named Logan Ramsey. He is, he's a family man, he has a wife, he has a daughter, but he works for the Gene Protection Agency. And this agency had to be created because this is like years in the future. I don't think it specifically says what year it is, but this is years in the future where they have um, discovered the technology to alter people's genomes and, you know, improve things or make things worse. I don't know. So they have that ability. Because of that, there can be a lot of consequences, a lot of ethic consequences. So they have to have this agency to monitor everyone and make sure they don't do illegal shit. So Gordon... Gordon, Gordon Ramsay? Anyways, Logan Ramsay, is that him? Yes, Logan Ramsay is part of this GPA, Gene Protection Ag Agency. And it opens up with him like interrogating this guy, trying to figure out, oh, what do you know about this? Why were you dropping off this package? Who are you working with? And he's trying to figure out if there's a scientist who is doing some illegal things with genes, gene alteration, genome alteration. And once he does, once they get to this building, they don't find anyone there. It's like a big explosion and he's on the ground. Um, they have to get monitored, but they think he is okay. Over the course of the next week or so, he does feel a little bit different. For example, he has a daughter who he plays chess with. Um, he taught her chess. They were playing since she was a lot younger. And throughout the years, she is just beating his ass all the time and all of a sudden he is beating her. She's like, oh my gosh, this is the first time in like years. What is going on? But he he senses um, there is a big change with his mind, his memory, his um, just decision-making quick and stuff like that, being able to, what is it, like anticipate other people's moves. So he's very sharp. He has this upgrade. Before announcing that he is feeling off though, he doesn't bring it up with his agency because he's like, I need to figure out what's going on first. He is, he talks to someone to map out his whole genome and see if anything is different. So he's figuring out that there are some alterations and they like, they spout out a lot of the genome sequences, which I kind of breeze through because I was like, what is this? But it's different sequences that has to do with his uh, memory, um, his like, his tendencies for cancer and stuff like that. It's basically a lot of genome alterations to make him a little bit better and not prone to dying, prone to surviving, things like that, right? And so while he figure this, while he figures that out, his agency also figures it out and basically puts him home on lockdown while they figure out what to do because he's he can be kind of dangerous. So that is still in the beginning of part one. This book is broken up into three parts. Um, while he's in lockdown, someone comes in uh, being hella stealth and really powerful and you know, just killing everyone in the agency to get to Logan Ramsey. So this person steals Logan Ramsey and takes him away, um, unmasks and stuff, and turns out this is Logan Ramsey's sister. So she has all these abilities. She's like super quick too, um, has this upgrade. And so they eventually find out that 
they're the only two that has the upgrade and they figure out that their mom is the one who did this upgrade in them. Their mom is an she is the scientist, the one that figured out this genome alteration thing a long time ago. She's supposedly dead, right? Supposedly. So they find out that their mom is the one who put this upgrade in them to better humanity and make sure that no one goes extinct because at the way they're going right now, you know, climate change and all that, things are looking pretty grim for humanity. And so the mom is like, we need to do this upgrade and make sure that you at least live instead of making all these decisions based on feelings and stuff like that, right? And you have to make decisions based on wanting to survive. And that's why she's doing this upgrade. Um, his sister is like, yeah, I'm down with that. I like your, I like your thoughts, mom. And Logan's like, how does that, how's that gonna change us as a whole? What, what makes us human then if not our decisions based on our feelings and stuff like that? So they're on different sides. They're running away from each other. He's like, I don't want to do this. Bye. And that's the end of part one. Part two is like years later, right? I think, I don't know how many years later, a year or two later, um, Logan Ramsey sees on the news that there's a place in Montana that people are looking sick. So he investigates this. He's talking to people. He's going there. He finds out that his sister actually found a way to uh, spread out this upgrade to people in terms of like, I don't know, a little bug or something. I forget how, how she's spreading this, but she's spreading it. She's testing it on Montana first. And it turns out people can get this upgrade, but there's like a percentage of people that is pretty significant if you spread it to the whole world. There's a percentage of people who actually don't get the upgrade. They get sick and they die. And it's sick in a gruesome way. They like start laughing hella crazy. They get into coma. I don't know. I think in my head, I imagine it to be very bad. Um, so he's finding out that his sister is doing this already and he's trying to stop her. That's like the essential part of part two. So part two is basically him finding this out and trying to figure out what to do to beat his sister. I think her name is Kara or something. I forget. But in order to do that, he's like doing this upgrade on himself. So he's spending a lot of time, uh, improving himself to get to her level. Cause I guess she did more upgrades on herself anyway. So he's trying to do that. Part three, I don't know what the fuck happens. I forget, but he's like trying to get to where Kara is and stopping her. He's trying to get people on his side to help him out too. I think what essentially happens is that he beats her, he ends up killing her and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, we're supposed to look out for each other. We promised each other after mom died that we'd be there for each other, but I'm killing you. So that was really sad. Um, the other thing is that this is the part that I did not like. So, so he has a family, right? And he was not able to keep in contact with his family because of everything that's going on. He don't wanna, he didn't wanna put them in danger. So I was missing that heart aspect of the whole book, but in the end, he actually visited them one last time, kind of explaining what happened and why he was gone. He's actually alive. So they were able to make peace with that. And I thought that was really sweet. The thing that I did not like is that he's like trying to fight Kara this whole time, trying to stop this upgrade. But after he stopped her, he actually did an upgrade of his own and spread that out to humanity. And that's how the book ended. Um, I thought the his reasoning was good. And I actually agree that probably the world needs more human, more compassion and empathy. So that's the only thing that he altered, the compassion aspect of people. He's like, if people were just more empathetic to other people's lives, they would care more and try to do more to help people and change the world that way. Um, so I do agree with him. I think that would help a lot of things in life, but for him to stop Kara for doing a certain thing and then on his own taking over and spreading across the world, I was like, damn, okay, sure, I guess. Um, but yeah, so over overall, I gave this book a four star and it's not bad. I think I enjoyed it. I read through it really quickly. I just was missing some some elements uh, that I loved about his previous books. I was missing a little bit of that, but I overall enjoyed it. I still loved it. So that was uh, number three. Number two is Recursion. And I was a little bit surprised too that I'm ranking this below Dark Matter because I loved it so much. I read it recently and it's fresh in my mind, but when I refreshed myself on Dark Matter, I was like, maybe I like that book more. But that just tells you how much I love his books because I really like this one. This is recursion. This is um, also science fiction thriller. It is more about time travel and this fake memory syndrome. So again, a lot of spoilers, okay? So this book is about like DNA, genome, and stuff like that. This book is about time travel, but you don't know that going in. Um, you have this guy named Barry. He is a cop 
And then you have this other woman named, I don't know her name anymore. Let me see. She plays a big part of the book. I guess I didn't write down much about this book, so I may be missing a lot of details, but recursion. It's about this cop, this New York City cop named Barry. And then you have this like a uh, neuro scientist named Helena. In the beginning, it is kind of split timelines and they do merge, but you see Barry first, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you see Barry first, he's a, uh, he's a cop, he's called to the situation. There's a woman on the top of like the highest building, whatever, right? She's getting ready to jump off. She wants to kill herself because she's getting what is called false memory syndrome, FMS. So false memory syndrome, a lot of people, or there have been more cases of it. So you're kind of like, ah, shit, am I too close to you? Am I going to get false memory syndrome as well? All of a sudden, this person has different memories about an alternate life. And so, for example, right now, I have memories, true memories of living in a house, having my day-to-day -day job, living with my husband, my kids, things like that, right? But then all of a sudden, I would have other memories about maybe living in New York by myself single different job right so it's kind of like that this woman is waking up and she's finding that she has different memories she's actually not living by herself but she has memories of being in this relationship with this guy having a son and all that right and so she's trying to figure out what is real she goes to this guy's house and it's like do you know me am i your wife and he's like i don't know who you are lady you are crazy and so she it's really she's really distraught she that's why she wants to jump off this building um unfortunately barry does not save her she does end up committing suicide so, so trigger warnings there but throughout the day or throughout the week he's like thinking more about this case um about the discrepancies he also he's freaking out he's trying to figure out if he's gonna get fms himself so he's also trying to be aware if there are weird memories coming up, but not yet, okay? So he goes to this guy's house, the one that the woman said was his, the one that the woman said was her husband. So he goes to the house and he's trying to ask her about this stuff, like, do you know this woman? He's like, I think eventually the guy breaks down and is like, it's not what you think. Here, why don't you go to this location if you want to find out more? And so eventually he goes, and and this guy when he goes to that location he doesn't really learn more he's kind of like forced into it he uh he's told like where do you want to go back if you were to change anything in your life think of that memory and maybe you can change it so for him you also learn about his backstory he had a wife they are now exes but it's because they had a daughter together and uh, she actually was killed in a hit and run accident a car accident and so he thinks of that memory and is, you know, through meeting this weird person, he gets pushed back into that timeline. So he wakes up during that time and he's like, oh shoot, this is my family. This is my daughter. I'm back how it was years ago. I have a chance to save my daughter. And so he does. And he lives out his life that way all the way up into like present day. And then we have alternating timelines with Helena here. We we hear we and this is a little bit in the past like a couple years in the past we see her history she has a mother with dementia so she's working a lot with memories and how to save them so that when someone does have dementia and loses those memories you can just implant those memories back i think so she's trying to figure that out but instead of that something weird happened i think they ha i think they made a mistake but they accidentally figured out how to travel back in time but it's not like the typical travel back in time like my body goes back in time it's my memory or my mind goes back into that mind and live out the rest of life so there are like kind of alternating timelines and that's why you get the false memory syndrome when you go back in time i'm trying to say this so i get it straight when your mind goes back in time and you live out those two different timelines there's a like a divergence right but once you get to that same point in time that you made that jump that's when you get those two memories that's when you have that memory of the past life that you lived and the life that you have now so all that to say things are going haywire so someone is trying to hijack helena's invention or whatever right and use it so that he gets his own gains he gets money he gets super rich and so helena is like uh i don't like where this is going i need to stop you but it's really really back and forth because they're trying to stop 
this person, but the person goes back in time and tries to redo it. So they're trying to figure out how to undo everything. And they think of a point in time that they can specifically change and make it so that there's no more divergence, convergence, whatever, so that they can't undo everything. And it's really sweet because Barry and Helena meet and, and you know, things are going on with this ex-wife and stuff like that. Let's put that aside because I forget what exactly happened, but they realize that they're not meant for each other. Anyway, so Helena and Barry meet and in one of those, in one of the timelines, they actually form a relationship and they fall in love. And so it feels like with each of these timelines and multiple universes, things like that, right? They keep finding their way back to each other when things doesn't when things don't go well again they have to go back to each other again so they're basically living multiple multiple timelines but still in the hopes of finding each other again and so i thought that was so sweet that was the love aspect that i enjoyed the most about this um in the end like they're like do you still want to live with me do you still want to relive all these decades knowing what it will become just trying to do this over and over again and they're like yes don't leave me and it was so cute um this this book did end up really well i enjoyed everything about this book i don't think i have anything bad to say if you're thinking that it may be redundant like oh so many back and forth it's not it's really good like things do change um so it's not really that boring to read over i love this one so much you know what maybe this is number one i don't know let's just stick to this okay okay so number one is dark matter um, just talking about recursion, I'm like, dang, I really like that one. Maybe that's number one, but let's just maybe say this is a little bit, uh, higher or maybe even tied. I'll just rank it number one because it's the book that made me fall in love with Blake Crouch's writing. Dark Matter is more about like multi-universes sort of thing. So, uh, Upgrade is about genomes and DNA and stuff. Recursion is about, uh, time travel, sort of. And then Dark Matter is about... Uh, multiple universes the multiverse and so I read this a long time ago I got this as a book of the month pick in August 2016 so years ago oh my gosh six years ago damn um so I read this years ago so this is off of just like trying to refresh my memory about it I definitely won't have as much details as I do about the other two books so I apologize about that I apologize to myself because I'm basically doing this video so I can remember details but Basically, you have this guy who is named Jason Dessen. He is currently a, what is he? He's like a professor or something right? like that, right? But he's actually a very smart, genius scientist. Um, so yeah, this guy named Jason Dessen, he is a professor or something like that, but he's actually a very big genius a scientist and things like that, right? But he gets approached one day uh, by some company. He's like, hey, do you want to help us make this thing to... I don't know, like multiverse, whatever, right? Do you want to help us? And at that time, he's like, no, I have my family. My wife is pregnant. We're expecting. I want to spend more time with her. So he passes on that and he lives his life as a professor. Um, fast forward a little bit later. I don't know, year, years later, he drives home from somewhere and then he is getting held up at gunpoint. Someone behind him, I don't know, like mask over his head. Who knows? I forget. But he's basically like, uh, don't move. Follow me. I have a gun behind your back step into your car and let's drive this place so so he gets driven to this place where there is this queue and i don't know if then he figures out who it is but so he gets driven to this place in this queue he gets put in this thing and then when he wakes up he's he's trying to figure out where he is but he's not like the same person he is anymore he doesn't have like the same family life he has this big ass job he's like mr hotshot people are saying hi to him like good morning jason Dessen, whatever and he's like, who are these people? But he finds out that he's in this alternate world. Uh, I think it takes him a little bit to kind of catch up to what is going on, but he is not in the same world that he was. So essentially this whole time, he's just trying to get back to where he was because he was happy with his wife and his kid, right? Um, so we find out that it's actually him, a version of himself in this different world that was like, you know the version of himself that did take that offer le like left his wife maybe or like things didn't work out because he took this job and he's spending so much time with it to figure out how to build this this little cube that you walk in and then that's how you get into these different dimensions different worlds so this is 
this is a version of him that did take that road and once he went in that road he's like super rich he knows all these people but he's like i'm not really happy i don't have my wife you know and so that version of himself kidnaps this ver version of himself and tries to take his place in this world and it's kind of switch spots right and so now he's trying to figure out how to get back to that dimension and that world that that uh universe with his wife his his normal one and this was so great because basically he walks into this cube and he tries to figure out which one is his world but essentially all of these like no matter what you do splits off into different universes right for example if i decide that my next book i want to read is ruth wears the it girl or if i want to, to next read like uh reread from blood and ash by jennifer l armachow those are two different dimensions even though they're like small little changes right so every different decision you make splits off into a different universe so with this guy jason Dessen, um for every mistake that he did every weird decision that he made in order to get back to his wife it splits off into a different version of him and so in the end you find like so many Jason Dessens trying to get back to his wife that they're all fighting each other. They're like, I'm the one who needs to be with her. I'm the real one. But so, so you actually don't really know what's going on there or who you're really following. But in the end, I think it ended up pretty well. He actually got his wife on board and then he and his wife went into the cube and just picked another random place and got off there and was like, all right, we'll make our life here. So I think that's how it ended from my memory, you know, six years ago um so who knows if i got the details wrong but i really like this book um i don't know if i necessarily like it more than recursion but it is what got me into blake crouch so i'm just gonna say it number one so i'm gonna so i'm just gonna say it's number one but i think i do like recursion and um dark matter the same amount i gave them both five stars they were both great upgrade was still good but uh, i was just missing a little something there so upgrade dark matter recursion i hope you enjoyed my spoiler full reviews of all these and my rankings uh number three number two and number one all right thank you so much again for watching i will see you guys next time bye